let him go. They got Jordan the thumbnail. You know that ain't real, because Jordan is in the fucking Wizards uniform. And I know damn well Larry Bird wasn't playing when Jordan was on the Wizards. But I want to see what they got. Larry Legend. Get his video 33 likes. 33 likes, man. 33 likes. And another Bird video. Larry told all of us and the media, he said it. Tomorrow night's the last game of the trip. I'm going to play this one left-handed. He's installed Jerome out. Kersey in the starting lineup. Well, he's put a tiger in the tank. He feels that Jerome Kersey is going to give him some aggressiveness, particularly against Larry Bird. He'll be Jerome Kersey's guard, Larry. I think his first eight or ten points were left-handed. And then at that point, uh, McHale was still coming off the bench. And, and so we score. Larry scores his, his sixth point on a left, some kind of left-handed shot. Bird against Kersey. I heard about that. And, and, and when they drill, when did he start shooting right handed? <laughs> well, left hand is one thing, but when the game got close, I had to go back to the right one. I think it went right down the wire, and, and we might have won by one point. You had to go back right. And the Blazers have the there was another time we played San Antonio where Larry was like 10 for 10 from the field, 10 for 10 from the line, and they were in the fourth quarter, we're, and we're, we beat him by about 20, and he told Casey, he goes, this isn't any fun, coach, take me out, he goes, this isn't, he goes, you know, they're not even a challenge tonight. He didn't miss a shot? I'm about to react to that. Three for three for Larry. Larry didn't react to that. Of course, as luck would have it, Larry Bird has an unbelievable night. Every shot he took, Irving is guarding him. And as every shot went in that Larry took, he went further back and kept on saying to Irving, aren't you going to guard me? Can't you do any better? He was torture, I mean, he Dr. Jack. The greatest soft-spoken trash talker I've ever met. Funny, it got too much, and I look up and I see them choking each other. The thing that, uh, that always stands out to me about Larry was his... Um, unwavering confidence. I mean, he had a level of confidence that was that was far superior to the rest of us. And I think that we were all very confident people. He's trying different kinds of shots this year than he did any time in his career. We just didn't think we were going to lose. And uh, mm -hmm. we lost some games throughout the year. I can remember one in particular where I was mad at Kevin and, and Bill before the game. They were messing around in Dallas. And I was very upset, so I went out and I told him, I don't need you guys. I went it by myself. I scored 50 and we lose. <laughs> but I made my point. Be a story but I made my about point. Xavier McDaniel. Mm. He said, an X man, yeah. An X, I'm going to get the ball right here. I'm going to shoot a jumper right in your face. They called time Mike. He said, You know I'm going to get it. And I said, I know I'm going to be waiting. And he said, I'm going to get it right here. I'm going to shoot it right in your face. We are in pain. Spot and shot a shot right in my face. And, you know, right in my face. Oh, bad He wanted to shoot it with zero seconds on the clock. I'm all back to the sideline. It's a bit of a finds Bird. Oh, what a nice pass by the rookie. You know, it, Larry was a, a, a serious trash talker in the sense that he would challenge uh, people to be able to either block this shot or, you know, or get a hand up on this play or. So, so it was all in, in I think, good nature, but still a way of, of challenging, you know, teams that we were playing against to, to be able to match his skills. I'm not a limelight type of guy. I'm not a self-promoter. 
I swim with my basketball, do my talking. I love to play the game. I don't know other athletes, but they're treated as well as I was treated in Boston. They should be very grateful because it was a ride of my life. There's no question about it. Best time of my life, and uh, I'll never forget it. When a guy is literally coming up to court, calling his shots, uh, and, you know, Bird talked a lot of trash. Uh, um, and that's in New Orleans. That's in New Orleans, and that game, we're on the free throw line. And he's Why like, were they he playing in New says, Orleans again? Uh, left side, <laughs> over the, across the three, and you're listening to him. That's, that's a tough feeling. I think Bird well, went by the bench one time, too. He fell in the bench. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he, <laughs> and he called that one. That was the one where he fell in the He literally said, oh, uh, off the glass, into the trainer. <laughs> and, uh, oh, yeah, and so um, it was a bad night. Hey, Bird talked more trash on the basketball court than, than anybody I've ever played against. And he told, us two, he, he told me two things one game. You know, our rotations, uh, double teaming Kevin McHale, always had to rotate to the corner. And Larry Bird was the one shooting. You know, so he shot one, and I mean, I, I'm trying to block this shot, and he, he was just telling me, Scott, you're a little too late. You know, a little too late. So we playing him, and the last, the last play, he says uh, to James Worthy, he said, you guys don't have to worry about it. I'm going to go right over to that corner. <laughs> he said, they're going to set a screen for me. We're taking the ball out. He said, I'm going to curl right over. And he's telling us to play. He's telling us to play before they even take it out. He said, I'm going to go right over to that corner, and I'm going to catch it, and I'm going to shoot it, and I'm going to tie the game or win the game, whatever case they be. They take the ball out, and I think it was either Danny or, or, or um, DJ. the late great DJ. Yeah. Take the ball out, man curl right to the corner, caught the shot, <laughs> shot a three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, are you effing kidding me? <laughs> it's not Larry Bird's story. I remember him, he was cursing on his breath. And I asked him, Larry, what's going on with you? He says, you guys are being disrespectful to me. And I says, what are you talking about? He what says, you, you guys are putting a white guy on me. <laughs> that's disrespectful. Wait, who's the white guy? I, 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 I can't remember who it was. I just started laughing. I had no comeback. He says, he says, it's disrespectful when y'all put a white guy on me. And I'm sitting there like, I'm laughing in the middle of a game. That's it for this video, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure that's to subscribe. That nigga Larry, bro, is the only dude, bro. Larry is the only dude. I ain't even about to say what I'm about to say. I ain't even about to do it. Nope, more videos on the way. Give me dislikes. I don't give a shit. If you watching this bitch. You already know, man. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like, man. Hit the bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Look ugly.